the Haute Provence Observatory. It lies in the middle of this hilly landscape close to the village of Saint-Michel Observatoire in the south of France. It's here that two Swiss scientists made one of the most exciting discoveries in the history of astronomy. They found the first planet outside our solar system. Not even in their greatest flights of fancy had they dared to hope for this. I never dreamed of discovering the first extrasolar planet. Science fiction was becoming reality. They really exist, these strange worlds far away. In some ways, I was too young to completely savor this discovery, but for a scientist, it's great luck to have experienced this. It was July 1995 when Michel Mayor made his way to the Haute-Provence Observatory. Didier Cullo had observed a completely unexpected phenomenon, the possible evidence of a planet outside our solar system. But it was not yet clear whether the measurements could be confirmed. Michel Mayor and Didier Cullo aren't interested in an image of their star but only in data and curves which show how the observed star moves. If the star moves towards us, the light emitted becomes bluer, moving away, it's redder. Just like the whistle tone of a train changes as it comes towards us, then moves away. The astronomers had discovered exactly this movement in the observed star, and they knew a planet could cause this wobble. The theory. Star and planet orbit around the center of gravity of the system. The star's wobble indirectly betrays the planet's existence. Theory or reality? On the one hand, I believe that we were already very, very sure that it was true. But because the phenomenon was so unusual, so exceptional in having an orbit of four days, we weren't sure of the physical interpretation. In fact, there weren't any doubts about what we had measured, but about what caused the phenomenon. The crucial observations had to take place within the next few days. Time was pressing. Not only in the south of France, but also in the United States, astronomers had been looking for the strange extrasolar planets for years. What we were afraid of was the Americans getting hold of the name of the star and that they'd measure it because they know there's something up there. That's the reason we told everybody not to say anything. Even the people at the observatory in Geneva didn't know the name of the star. As twilight falls, it's only the technicians of the Haute-Provence Observatory who know which star the Swiss want the huge telescope pointed at once again. They'd also promised to keep the secret to themselves. Now it's a question of waiting to see if the instruments will deliver the expected results. Success. The longed for confirmation. <laughs> The speed measured matches perfectly the expected curve. And the curve shows the planet really exists. Tomorrow, the astronomers will be sure that they're the first to discover a planet orbiting a foreign sun. In a private celebration in July 1995, the Genevans toasted their lucky star, 51 Pegasi.